Okay, before uh, do anything else, we'll get a baseline heat test. And here we go. We're going to Prime 95 here. All processors are at 100%. This is with the air cooler that I am using now. Starting off at about 45, 46 degrees Celsius. THRM, that is um, my processor. For whatever reason, on a uh, hardware monitor, is not reading right. Or I should say, it's not labeling it CPU cooler. Okay, as you can see in my desk, I normally have the desk closed. It has a front cover with, uh, and along with my case, it has a front cover with a filter. Okay, we jumped up to 54 degrees Celsius. This is the midway point. Not exactly sure how long this is taking. Uh, 65 degrees. Okay, we apex at 65 degrees Celsius with only the CPU under load. Now we're going to put the video card under load to really get the case temperature uh, temperatures up. As you can see, GPU temperatures have a great effect on CPU temperatures in an enclosed case, along with a closed environment, which would be my desk. We're just going to watch this climb a little bit, and we're going to jump up. Fast forward and see. Okay, we're up to 79. Up to 75. 79 on the GPU, 75 on the CPU. Case is closed. Now I'm going to open it up. This is usually what I would do if I was gaming. I know things are getting hot. Uh, just let it cool off. You know, ideally, I'd like to be able to leave everything closed, nice and quiet, and uh, less distracting. And the temperatures keep going up. filter on this uh, CPU case works very good. Very little dust gets into the computer. Very little. And all you have to do is vacuum the filter off and wash it if you want to. Uh, really no need to wash it. It just makes it look better because it, it does have that dust color on it if you don't wash it. Okay, here we are at the apex. 85 degrees Celsius on the video card. Um, room temperature is around 75 and then also 81 degrees and I think it ends up getting up to 82 degrees Celsius on the processor. We're going to shut everything down and no errors. Okay here's the case fan I'm going to throw in here. Cool, uh, Blade Master 120. This was not cheap. Uh, I believe it was 10 or 12 dollars. I know that's hard to read but that's 600 to 2000 um, RPM and up to 29 CFM. Uh, you can tell it spins pretty good. This is the actual water cooler I'm going to be using, Alipa. I believe that's how you say it. Uh, all in one unit. Aqua Charger 240. Aqua Charger and 240. And a little spoiler here, this thing is pretty good for the price, for sure. If you don't feel like watching this video, just buy it. It's good. It's a good uh, water cooler, for sure. What I just showed you was uh, the fans came with the unit. They're pretty good. Uh, this is the uh, actual water block and radiator itself. You can see it's one contained unit. Uh, that actually lights up the water block. It looks really cool. It's red. Can't see it in this video, though. I'm sorry. Here's my workstation. Pretty neat. Pretty comfortable. Here's my case. A little bit dusty. And bottom mount power supply. Love this case. Love this case. Made for water cooling. And the first step is going to be remove. Oh, yeah. I got to work by the fire. That looks pretty. Anyway, the first step is going to be, of course, remove your cooler and in my case it's an air cooler which was good for the old quad core I had it only got up to maybe 55 degrees Celsius but my hex cores topping it out now 
which I do have the Phenom X6 1100T, which is the 3.3 gig processor. And keep going on. I had to go help pull out a truck. Now I'm back to work on my computer, so let's see how this wood burner is doing real quick. Which is at almost 400. Oh, yeah. Still pretty good. That's what I like to see. Next thing I'm going to do is going to put the uh, radiator in. Then the water block. Oh my, oh my. Let's look, take, look at these accessories. Uh, got a support plate. Got a adapter. Two to one. Two, one. And I also got a Molex adapter. So you can go from Molex to the fan setup. Four pin. If you don't have an empty four pin on your motherboard. And all this fancy shit. Even comes with uh, thermal paste, but I'm gonna be using Arctic Silver Five, so I won't be needing that. Woo! Up over 500. Got my uh, filter here drying out. I just washed it. Got the fan going. All right, I got the fans on. When you tighten these up, kind of do like a lug nut setup and go, you know, one, two, three, four, and probably two stages. And um, that way you make sure you don't like make it come way up when you're tightening one. And then uh, when you tighten this one here, you realize, hey, this is way too tight. So yeah, just, I would do two stages or three if you really want to be picky just like a lug nut where well, you're not over tightening anything and, or under tightening anything for that matter okay now I was reading the, the instructions and it says you gotta put a support plate underneath the motherboard yeah I don't quite understand why these manufacturers couldn't just incorporate the stock AMD or Intel support plate they're pretty good uh, support plates. In this case, might be hard to see. There's actually a mat here, and on the other side is a steel uh, backing. Now, what this is for is uh, to keep it quiet. So I got to remove that mat before I put the radiator in. So I'm going to do that right now. I got to start two screws and a radiator. Um, Definitely want to start two and then go from there. Keep them, don't want to tighten them up too much. That way you can uh, manipulate the radiator so you can start the rest of the screws. I got two on the top. Now I'm gonna get the bottom started. Everything's on the top. I'm just talking about relative to my position that I'm sitting at. So. go um, I would get all of them started excuse me that way uh, you don't have any tight and then the other ones don't line up and then you have no play to manipulate it so get them all started and then tighten them. Okay. 
Okay, that's the torque setting you hear. Actually, I'm going to work from the inside out, just like a gasket on a vehicle. If it's in the shape of a square, work from the inside out. Or a rectangle. Okay, everything's been tightened and torqued. I'll go over it one more time. Just got the block on. Don't have it tightened down all the way yet. Uh, I'm not very pleased with uh, how hard that was. Um, you're not going to be able to do it unless some other boards in the case. I was mistaken. But you need a case where you can access the back of the motherboard, which I have. If you don't, you're really, 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 really going to have a hard time because this thing is a real pain in the butt with the case I had. These screws that go through the motherboard, they don't lock into anything other than the black so that you're gonna they're jumping around and you have a hard time lining them up and everything like that they should uh, fasten themselves to the motherboard first that way they're stationary that way you don't have to mess around with anything but they don't it was a real pain in the butt to get that on the screws want to fall out and jump out every every chance you get and then uh, the nuts on top which look like screws but they're actually nuts um, they're spring loaded so I had end up having uh, tried to do all four once that didn't work tried to do the bottom two and then top two that that didn't work pretty much had to start one get it going then do the next one then do the next one didn't uh, then do the next one you try to do any more than one at a time you're just gonna jump all over the place and fall out so glad I got that done real pain in the ass uh, the instructions didn't say anything about keeping the motherboard in place blah 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 anyway another thing is my kit was actually missing screws screws for this uh, so actually a bracket here that goes from the block to right here the AMD bracket it was missing this four screws required there's two brackets uh, luckily I had some standoffs that were the same threads and uh, definitely it was missing the screws I mean I went laid everything out they're not there and went through the box again but I did have uh, four screws that like I said were the right threads they of course don't look right because they're standoffs but they're double sided but whatever uh, can't do anything about it I'm not gonna wait around for screws so um, so now I'm gonna tighten this down and uh, put my video card back in and get everything else set with the case so okay I got them all the way tightened down they were not spinning in the back you just gotta um, tighten them until the uh, bracket rests on the spacer there's actually a spacer on each four of these screws here and uh, looks pretty square feels really solid actually very solid okay here it is I got it done um, all the fans are hooked up everything's back together a little, uh, last thing you gotta do is put the fan on the front which I got I even got my DVD player hooked up finally looks fairly clean under the hood um, wire management decent you know, not cluttered everywhere video cards sagging quite a bit they always do they just look like shit when they sag like that so I'm gonna put the front fan on so here I got the one fan that came with the case and I'll put the next other fan on real quick and that's pretty much it one thing real quick uh, looks like this fan even comes with these rubber uh, pads I'm assuming to make them quieter. That's a little neat feature. Costs a little bit of extra to throw in there, so you can tell they're not cutting corners with this fan. Yeah, you got both the fans on. So the next thing I'm gonna get do is put the filter on and slap it all together and see how she does.
two pans versus one. That shouldn't make a big difference. We'll see. Okay, I finally got it going after unplugging and plugging in about five times trying to figure out what was wrong. It was overheating. That was because the pump was plugged into a Molex connector that did not want to work for some reason. So, here we go. TR THRM and then uh, TMP INO0. Those two should be the processor. Idle at 20 degrees Celsius. Let me start it up. Okay, it's going up. I'm gonna hit play again once it seems like it tops out. Okay, it looks like everything's apexing. I, the graphics card's topping out at about 74 degrees Celsius, whereas before it was around 85 degrees Celsius. And the processor is at 38 degrees Celsius. Now, mind you, this is with the graphics card running. Whereas before it was around 85 with the graphics card running full potential. And the graphics card was at, like I said, 85 degrees full potential. And even have the door shut. Which right now it's actually silent basically. That fan you hear in the background is uh, an air purifier.